How's it going guys and welcome back to the False Tech YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be doing another one of my mini series. Uh, this is the top five third party app stores video. Um, and I'm going to talk about my favorite. Again, this is uh, my opinion. So you may have some that you like. If you see some that you like and you think that are more worthy than the ones that I'm choosing, feel free, I know there's tons out there, feel free to leave that in the comment section below. Um, and I may, in the next video I do on app stores, I may have that one listed here. These are, uh, these are just ones that I've picked out. I've seen tons and these are just my top five favorite that I've used. So, um, getting started, I have two apps for app stores and then the other three will be web-based. I'm using Puffin TV, which is an excellent web browser for uh, the NVIDIA Shield. And I do highly recommend it if you're looking for a, a decent, compatible browser. But let's jump right in and start with Aptoid. Aptoid is one you'll see, you'll see on my channel a lot. I, um, I use this quite often. This is one of my favorites out of all five that I've chosen today. Um, in Aptoid, you can choose, you can, um, it'll, you'll see the editor's choice. You'll be able to search for your own. You can even have uh, stores that other channels or other stores have been set up and you can view these as you can see here these are what other people have set up and added into their stores and it's really cool um i haven't set up any stores in mine i could but you can kind of think of this as how file link or droid admin does theirs you also have your apps button over there and that button shows your apps and gives you the option to update all or uninstall them from that selection there so this is one of my highly, most highly recommended out of all the ones that I'm showing today. But let's go ahead and move on to the next one. The next one is a new a one that I have been using um, as well. This has a this has a really good selection. Um, not the best, but it does allow you to also set orientation as well, which is really cool. This is the Yap Store or F Droid. So we're gonna open this up. And at the bottom there, you have latest categories nearby or updates. And this one isn't, I have noticed that this one isn't too friendly with your remote. Uh, App, Aptoid is pretty good at being friendly, but this one needs work. Uh, so you do have to use either your game controller or your mouse. So let's look at settings real quick. So settings are pretty good. You can add additional uh, apps. Here, you can go and uh, manage your manage your apps. If you're using a phone, you can make sure that if you can check this, make sure it always goes over Wi-Fi. You also have that for data. And guys, you can see you can turn on uh, updates as well. So there's tons, and this is why I had this in this list. There's tons more options in this one than all the others I've seen. I mean, you can you can customize this to your liking. There's tons of things. Prevent screenshots. I mean, there's pretty much endless options here you also have an updates tab where you can where this will list your installed apps you can come in here and update them from here nearby is something i don't use but basically it's a way to communicate with people that use fdroid and it will show nearby um, people with um, fdroid so it's kind of cool but i don't see a use for it and with the nvidia shields categories if i had this load there it goes it shows you uh, categories between what you can um, install. So we got con connectivity. This is a connection for Wi-Fi, as well as just communicating with other people or connecting with other people. Um, you have development. These are all uh, things you can install to check different things, such as, um, I mean, they have tons of things. They have ARC packages. You can check your Linux packages. You can really dive into the operating system with this. Raspberry Pi checker, you got a retro text editor, so there's tons of things for coding and debugging in this development section here. Of course, you have games, graphics, internet, and much more. And that's why this is my number two pick and may, be, may become my number one pick eventually. Um, last but not least in this, you have the latest tab. This shows you the latest apps as well that's been updated or, or, or added to the uh, app here. But um, let's move on. Again, another another great selection. My next three will be web-based, so we're going to go into Puffin's browser. In my bookmarks, I have the last three of the top five. First one on my list is A to Z APK. Now, this is a really cool one. Um, you can actually generate download links. That's why I wanted to add this one here. And um, 
I mean, we got PUBG, you have Fortnite. So there's tons of things you can do to generate URLs to download. And I mean, there it also has really nice updated uh, links here. Popular apps in the last 48 hours. There's just tons of options with this. Now, because it's a website, there's no customization options for the shield in general. So you can't change the uh, display or you can't change uh, too much about this because it is web-based. And that's one of the downfalls of the web-based apps or web-based um, app stores. Moving on, we're going to go to the next one on my list. And the next one on my list is AppBrain. I really like AppBrain. Um, AppBrain is a as probably as far as popularity, maybe number two outside of um, the Android um, App Store. And because of that, you can actually they have a, more of a business aspect for app for AppBrain. You can add your own apps. You can use their uh, APIs to implement ads to your apps. This is another place you can actually deploy your apps. So it's a great app store as well as a great place to deploy your um, your apps, especially if you didn't want to deploy them in Google Play for whatever reason. Sometimes Google Play will block your apps. Um, AppBrain doesn't do that. You can install, you can deploy your apps here and you don't have to worry about the um, monitoring or the, the blocking. Of course, they do have uh, guidelines, community guidelines you have to follow, but not as strict as Google's. And that's the reason why I like AppBrain. They have tons of apps you can install, but not only that, they also look out for the developers. All right, guys. So last one on my list is APK Mirror. This is actually a really good place to download your APKs. You can also upload APKs here pretty easily. Um, this is pretty much the same repository as the others. But the reason I chose this one to be on my list is because how easy it is to use. I mean, I can just, as soon as I jump in, their homepage is just displaying tons and tons and tons of apps that I can install. So that's the reason why this got voted over the others that you may uh, list is simply because of the, how easy it is to install. I can just enter their homepage and I got tons of apps I can already choose from. And that's why this was also on my list. All right, guys. So if you're interested in any of these APK stores or app stores, um, you can jump into the bottom where the description is at. I have listed them there as well as the links of where you can go or grab them. These five will uh, definitely add to your repository of apps. If you're looking to branch out, I would definitely get that going, get that installed, get the uh, links added to favorites, bookmarks, and just start exploring. Um, it does, doesn't hurt to explore and get from more familiar with third-party app stores. But guys, yeah, that is what I wanted to share with you today. Um, this one was a little longer than my other short series videos here, but um, that was the top five third-party app stores. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.